Hey there, Kaleidoscope Clan. It's Maddie Postal Art. Great to be here. Um, I actually, I have been really in a very creative space lately. And so um, a lot of times that means I have to step away from the computer a little bit more. <laughs> so um, that's actually what I want to talk about because um, when I say I've gotten to a creative space, I mean I've been part of a writing group called Sacred Rites with Laurel Erica. Shout out to her. Um, and I've been really working on my poetry, my expression which is something that I've always really enjoyed. Um, but to be able to focus on it with a master linguist um, or orator, word magic fairy like Laurel, um, it's very blessed. So um, I've been creating poetry. And so I'm actually going to be posting one of my new creations. Um, like it within the next 12 hours um, I've added some moving meditation to the words and I'm very excited to share it um, please uh, understand that all of this is very new for me as far as how I'm doing everything I'm doing it the best way <laughs> that I can figure it out in the moment and I will continue to learn, but thank you so much for being patient and dealing with how I'm transmitting everything. I hope that you'll be able to get the, the jewels from it. But the poem that I have created recently that I have birthed is um, Find Some God Space. That's the title. And it's really about finding your center, finding your meditative uh, moving meditation inside of life like as you're moving to be able to find that space within you that's connected to God and be in tune with that 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 is our goal so it's really um, a moving meditation in and of itself to read it or to listen to it um, I would say really if you have challenges slowing down it's something that's really great to listen to daily you know so please listen to it let me know what you think I hope that it does help you to ah, slow down <clears throat> it's so important you know there's the yin and the yang right and we've been programmed very much to focus on the yang part but the yang needs the yin that's the recharge you know that's the emptying out and so um, don't be fooled by the images that tell us that it's easy for everyone just to keep going, 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 and they don't stop. No, it's not good. It's not balanced. In any holistic equation, you deal with the yin and the yang. So you have to take just as much time focusing on not exerting oneself. You have to go within and work on the inside or undo things that don't work. We always have to allot time for all of that. So be very patient with yourself, okay? And listen to my new meditation, okay? Um, when we talk about finding your God's space, this meditation is really, it was inspired by the time that I was in Guatemala in the mountains. And so that is one way that you can tap into your God space is by natural locations, right? Being in places that remind you of just the awesomeness of nature and beauty in that way. But then there are also things like doing art, doing artwork, like what I've been doing with my poetry. Um, I'm also very motivated right now to start doing some visual art with some recyclable materials. So I'm feeling very inspired. And sometimes, you know, 
I can hear a little voice from my childhood saying that it's a waste of time, that it's not serious enough to invest my energy into. But no, all of my artistic drives have always served me to um, help me to expand in many different ways. So I'm looking forward to what that is going to produce. So I really encourage each one of you to find that God space. If there's anything that we can count on, it's the God within us, if there's anything that we can count on. So that's what we should be building up. Despite whatever your eyes are showing you in the world, the only power that you have is with spirit and from within right so um, it's a, a lifelong journey for us in making that connection as strong as possible and there are a number of different ways and so we should always be looking to see what that is another one of my most favorite ways to connect to spirit and the spirit within me is Temescal's, Temescal's, the sweat lodge. That's another way that I go within. So all of these things um, are grounding no matter what life situation you're going through. So I'm here to give you inspiration to know that this is tried and true for me. I have been through all kinds of things. Trust me. But we all have a choice. We all have a choice of what runs us, right? Is it love or fear for you? Hopefully it's love of yourself, number one, of spirit. And also through loving yourself first. And this gift the spirit has given us is life that we're supposed to be using. So, I just wanted to check in. I'm going to be um, going to a few places and taking you with me this week. But I just wanted to come and have a little heart-to-heart -heart about this God space thing. Because um, we all need to have little places in our calendar where it's God space. Remember that. So this is Nettie Posa Ma'at. Thank you so much for being here and embodying the sacred transformation that you are going through. You know, we're all our own butterflies in this kaleidoscope. So have a blessed evening. Signing out. Peace.